unemployment in Spain now stands at a staggering 26%, with no signs of falling, as our Madrid correspondent Tom Burridge now reports. In historic tourist fueled Seville, there are now mounds of uncollected rubbish. This is the result of austerity, a strike by workers because some of them are set to lose their jobs as the local government tries to make savings. Cuts to the public sector here are for now deepening the recession and unemployment in Spain is now at 26%. But as economist Gail Allard argues, such a high jobless rate is mitigated by other factors. Es difícil que aguante un país con 6 millones o con el 26% de la... A country can hardly hold out with 6 million unemployed, 26% of its workforce unemployed. But Spain has a lot of resources. First, family, which has very strong institutions. And there are also welfare benefits. Retirees are too many to maintain the unemployed. And the Spaniards use their money that they have saved. But when these savings will be exhausted, there will be problems. There have been more problems for the Spanish government over the past week. Anger over austerity has only been compounded by anger over allegations that the ruling popular party received improper payments. Claims that the Spanish prime minister was forced to publicly deny. If the Spanish government wants to clean up its image, a fall in unemployment would help. There are signs that will come later in the year. La economía española está haciéndose otra vez competitiva. The Spanish economy is becoming progressively competitive, even if it does not have its own exchange rate. So I hope there will be a net job creation in the second half of this year, thanks to the reforms of the labor market and a return of growth in Spain. Today, Spain's prime minister travels to Germany. Mr. Rajoy can count on Mrs. Merkel's support. But both leaders know that at some point, austerity needs to make a difference in the real economy lives of people in places like Spain. Tom Burridge, BBC News in Madrid.